We all know at the end of Rogue One, there's a special surprise from a familiar character. Spoilers ahead, it's Princess Leia. But her face uh, had a lot of CGI help from uh, Industrial Light and Magic. And it took a lot of tooling to get her and uh, Peter Cushing's image into Tarkin himself. Uh, before she looked like young Carrie Fisher, she looked more like an actress named Invildelia. Let's take a look. So during the process, yes, that is what her face looked like before they uh, CGI imposed Carrie Fisher's visage. And she actually, I mean, dots aside, I think she looks pretty close to Leia. I, I, more on that later. Uh, she talks about it on the digital release for Rogue One about her experience overall saying, this is one of the smallest acting roles she's ever received. However, it has a very high profile. It's very important to um, a huge movie series or a huge movie series canon rather. And um, she called it a great honor to have become that character and also dropped that she had to have a large chunk of hair added in order to become the final version of Leia. So that's her on set. I think you can see the, the dots and the huge amount of hair. And I think that's the final product, um, which looks pretty good. However, uh, you may remember there was kind of a divide between people on the final product of, or the final image, um, being that people felt that it was a little too uncanny valley to have seen uh, a CGI representation of um, Carrie Fisher in her 20s and Peter Cushing when he was alive as Tarkin and perhaps would have liked to have seen the roles recast um, a la Mon Mothma who was recast with an actor who looks a lot like the original actor. And you know, maybe you wouldn't get as lucky with uh, Tarkin and Leia. However, I probably would have preferred it the other way with recasting. Released along uh, the making of Princess Leia's face wore some other special features, some of which featuring uh, Jiang Wen as Bayes Malbus talking about how he got into the role and how he, what really contributed to this surprisingly was his son. So English was not uh, Jiang Wen's first language. So he revealed in the special features that his English was pretty spotty and he wasn't sure about taking on the film. Um, but his son read it and said it was great and said he was totally fine with his dad leaving for five months to do this. He could be a great hero and he helped him a lot with the process itself and ultimately led to him being this role. Donnie Yen also talking about his kids in the special features, was saying that he was finally cool in the eyes of his children. And that means that they have not seen Triple uh, X, The Return of Xander Cage, in which Donnie Yen is, in my opinion, the best part of the movie. Maybe you disagree. Overall, a lot of cool details being released on the digital edition of Rogue One. Um, my preference probably would have been as much as I love any time I see Carrie Fisher would have been to just recast the roles of Princess Leia and Grand Moff Tarkin. Um, I think Inville would have been wonderful as the role. She doesn't have exactly the same face, but she looks very good at least. Uh, what would you like to have seen audience? Do you agree with me? You probably don't. Please let me know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.